Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about peptic ulcers, what most people call ulcers. So you are going to know what peptic ulcers are, what causes peptic ulcers, and how they can be prevented and treated. Peptic ulcers mean that your stomach actually has wounds. Medically, the word ulcers means wounds. One gets these ulcers majorly because their stomach produces more acid than normal. So remember that acid is important in the digestion of food. Whenever this acid is produced in excess, it can actually cause wounds in the stomach. The common causes of ulcers are a bacteria called Helicobacter pylori or H. pylori, NSA drugs such as ibuprofen and diclofenac. These are regular over-the-counter medications that people buy for pain relief. There is a condition called zollinger elson syndrome. Don't mind about the length of the name, I'll explain it. So people with such a condition have some tumors or swellings in the pancreas. The pancreas is some organ in the left part of your upper abdomen. So these tumors can produce a hormone called gastrin and gastrin causes your stomach to produce hydrochloric acid in excess. That means a person with this syndrome will have excess production of acid which will eventually cause wounds within the stomach. There is also another form of ulcers we call stress ulcers. Normally we see this in people who are admitted and their bodies are undergoing severe stress. Now that you know the causes of ulcers, let me tell you about the symptoms. One with ulcers will present with symptoms like severe pain in the upper abdomen. They can present with vomiting of blood, passage of black stools. In its severe states, actually one can present with bloody stools. Other milder symptoms could be heartburn, alisatate, feeling that you're full, actually you've taken a small chunk of food and bloating. As we have seen that ulcers are caused by your body producing excess acid in your stomach, it is therefore paramount that if you have to eat food, you eat it on time. If your body is programmed to eat food at a particular period of time, your body will produce the acid which helps in digestion of proteins and food in that particular window of time. That means that if you eat your food late, at a particular time your acid is going to find an empty stomach and that can actually predispose you to having ulcers. It's also very good that you have regular checkups with your doctor once you have symptoms that I've just mentioned above. The other way to prevent ulcers is avoid inappropriate use of painkillers called NSAIDs. We have seen drugs like ibuprofen can actually predispose you to develop ulcers. So whenever you have pain, it's very good that these drugs are prescribed by a doctor. Ulcers can actually complicate into one having a hole being punctured through the entire lining of the stomach. This is a severe complication of ulcers and can be Life threatened. Another complication of ulcers could be vomiting of blood, and this can cause severe anemia or severe loss of blood. I've actually seen someone who came to the hospital completely paper white because they lost all the blood by vomiting it. It's very good that once you have these symptoms to be treated as soon as possible. So the treatment of ulcers will depend on the cause of the ulcers. If your cause is because of H. pylori, you'll be given are uh, acid suppressing medications on top of the antibiotics. The role of the antibiotics is to kill the bacteria. Once the bacteria is killed and the cause of the acid production is relieved, you will then continue with acid suppressive medication for a period of about six to eight weeks. If the cause of your ulcers is because of drugs like NSAIDs, then you'll have to stop using such drugs. Once we suspect that one, one is at risk of developing stress ulcers, normally in hospital, we prescribe acid suppressive medications what you call PPIs. If one has developed complications like perforation because of ulcers, they may need surgical intervention. Ulcers are diagnosed by introducing a camera into the stomach, which can help us to see if there are actually wounds in the stomach. Again, I'll repeat, it's very good that you have regular medical checkups so that to avoid complications associated with diseases. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe, like, and share. Remember that on this channel we give you regular health tips can actually prevent a relative from getting a disease. After watching this video, I also think you're going to benefit from watching this video here. I'm going to say bye bye for now and see you soon.